This video is brought to you by Cleary & Co Solicitors. In this video, we will cover the topic of employment law. There is a huge body of employment law in Irish legislation, such as the following examples. Unfair Dismissal Acts, Payment of Wages Act, Maternity Protection Acts, Employment Equality Acts, Safety, Health and Welfare at Work Act. We will discuss some of these mentioned acts and we will also cover topics in employment law, such as unfair dismissal, constructive dismissal, bullying at the workplace, and more. If you want to read more about what we talk about, then go to clearysolicitors.ie. The first topic we will discuss is unfair dismissal. The Unfair Dismissal Act 1977 was the initial act in this area, but has since undergone many revisions. Some of these revisions involve religious or political opinions, race, colour, sexual orientation, age or membership of the traveller community, unfair selection for redundancy, pregnancy, giving birth or breastfeeding, or any matters connected with pregnancy or birth. So, when does an unfair dismissal arise? An unfair dismissal may arise in the following situations. 1. An employer terminates an employee's employment, with or without notice, and without substantial reason for the dismissal. 2. An employee terminates their employment, with or without notice, due to the conduct of the employer. This is known as constructive dismissal. This brings us to our next topic, which is constructive dismissal. A claim for constructive dismissal is one brought on the basis that an employee works life has become intolerable due to the conduct of the employer and they had no alternative but to leave that employment. As the resignation was not truly voluntary, it is in effect a termination. So, what should you do if this situation arises in your working life? Speak to your line manager or someone from your HR department. Try to resolve the matter through the normal chain if possible. Record your efforts. Follow the standard grieving procedure prior to resignation. Follow the industrial relations procedure prior to resignation. Ask your solicitor for advice before resigning. Prevention is always number one and cure number two. Only resign when all the avenues have been exhausted and essentially you've done what you can do. What is the Workplace Relations Commission? The Workplace Relations Commission is an independent body in Ireland for the resolution of employment disputes which can be resolved with the benefit of medication or an adjudicator. Can I appeal a decision of an adjudicator officer? Yes. An appeal can be made to the Labour Court within a strict time frame. What is the compensation for constructive dismissal in Ireland? The maximum compensation one can obtain in a successful constructive dismissal claim is 104 weeks remuneration. Bullying at the workplace. Bullying at the workplace is repeated inappropriate behaviour that undermines your right to dignity at work. It can be done by one or more persons and it is aimed at an individual or a group to make them feel inferior to other people. Bullying can be verbal bullying, physical bullying or cyber bullying which is carried out on the internet or mobile phones, through social networking sites, email and text. It can take many forms such as social exclusion and isolation, damaging someone's reputation by gossip or rumours, aggressive or obscene language, repeated requests with impossible tasks or targets. The Employment Equality Act places an obligation on all employers in Ireland to prevent discrimination and harassment in the workplace. Bullying which is not linked to one of the discriminatory grounds in the Equality Act is not covered by the Employment Equality Acts. The Code of Practice on Sexual Harassment and Harassment at Work aims to give practical guidance to employers and employees on how to prevent sexual harassment and harassment at work and how to put procedures in place to deal with it. In 2005, the Expert Advisory Group on Workplace Bullying reported that bullying is an increasing problem in the workplace. A survey on bullying was carried out as recommended by the group and Bullying in the Workplace Survey Report 2007 was published. In many European countries, the term mobbing is used instead of bullying to describe the type of hostile behaviour in the workplace. Age discrimination in the workplace Age discrimination in the workplace is prohibited by the Equality Act and if discrimination occurs, an employee has a legal remedy available to them. Discrimination as per the Equality Act is discrimination shall be taken to occur where on any of the grounds in subsection 2 in this Act referred to as the discriminatory grounds one person is treated less favourably than another. The ground in this case is that of age, where one is discriminated against by the reason of the person's age. What is an example of age discrimination at work? If one employee is passed over a promotion and the reason is based on the age of one applicant. We hope these topics give you a brief overview of employment law in Ireland. If you seek any help with employment law, then email info at clearysolicitors.com or visit the website at clearysolicitors.ie. Disclaimer, please be advised that the mentioned material in this video is intended as an overview and as a broad outline of the topics discussed. It should not be considered as complete and comprehensive legal advice nor act as an appropriate substitute. Legal advice should be sought from a solicitor prior to relying on anything in this video. This video is brought to you by Clearing Co Solicitors.